From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Market Night in Healthy Eating Habits. Hello, I'm Sally Gonzalez, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Karina Erzov. Redlands hosts its monthly Market Night. Reporter Vanya Evans explores the culturally diverse event. Redlands Market Night occurs every Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m., banding together the community and merchants from all downtown Redlands. Various merchants and businesses set up a booth anything from flowers, vegetables, fruits, and clothes. You can grab a bite to eat from one of the many different booths, selling food from all sorts of cultures. There's more than food that draws the crowd. Market Night invites the public to a carriage ride, a bounce house, and even a petting zoo. Goldie the Clown has been committed to face painting ever since she started. What I do, is, of course, is I uh, paint children's faces, and adults too, if they like. I've been here for um, on and off now for a couple years, and actually I've been doing clowning now for about 17 years, which I love doing clowning. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. I love to make children laugh and smile. LA Fitness has been a regular contributor. Active lifestyles, fitness, really want to increase the longevity of Americans and we really want to make people live the life that they really want to live in. So that's how we contribute. Merchants farm their own crops and bring them to market night to sell. We come here just, we could be in so many other markets but we come here because of the people here. It's, it's really a special little town here. <laughs> Between the multicultural atmosphere and variety of attractions, Redlands Market Night gives you a desired taste of Southern California. College students are notorious for their unhealthy eating habits. Reporter Sabel Kajmas shows us a few nutritional tips. California State University San Bernardino offers various places for students to purchase food. However, it is not always easy to choose healthy over unhealthy food. Many college students have the tendency to eat unhealthy. If it had to pick a choice, yeah, I would prefer Denny's. And the reason why, because I'm kind of like, I actually I love the Graham Slam, which is one of my favorite foods. Actually, when I do go to Denny's, so it happens to be right here, so I actually just happen to eat. However, fast food may be convenient, but there are positive alternatives to stay healthy for college students. Of course, it is important. It's always important to stay healthy, especially if you want to live longer. But, I mean, in some cases, I mean, I work out every single day, so... To my knowledge, I mean, I really don't have a tendency to watch what I eat, but I know I should on a regular basis, but that's my, pretty much my mentality. So there is one place where students can gain some nutritional value. Actually, the commons, because they have, like, grilled fruit, and they have um, chicken, they have salads, and they have soups and stuff, so it's healthier, I think. Eating unhealthy not only affects your body, but also your energy levels. It keeps... Um, keeps me going the whole day. I'm here almost all day. So if I don't eat healthy, then I would be like sleepy, tired, so it's important. So students at CSUSB have options to eat healthy by avoiding fast food meals and choosing to eat vegetables or fruits instead. For Local Matters, I'm Sibel Kachmaz. That's all we have for now. I'm Karina Erzov. And I'm Sally Gonzalez. So join us next time for more local stories that matter. Mm -hmm.